Let's take a look at radio buttons. I've gone ahead and created an elements class with the radio buttons test method. I've also imported the relevant namespaces up here and I also have a navigate command which navigates to the demo tricky defects webpage. If we have a look at this web page, it allows you to customize your computer and it contains various radio buttons, checkboxes and drop downs as well. So let's go ahead, we'll right click on the radio button and inspect element with firebug. So we can see it has an input tag with a unique ID, a class and a type called radio. To begin we'll copy the ID from here and we'll store it in a variable rb none and using the driver dot find element by id and paste in the id now we can check that by default this first radio button is selected we can do this in a couple of ways firstly using the get attribute method let's create a variable to store this value and using the radio button dot get attribute and the attribute we are interested in is called checked if we didn't want to use the get attribute method, we can use the selected command for this radio button instead. Let's add an assert in here and we'll check the radio button is selected using the selected property. Let's move on and we'll take a look at the second radio button and take the ID from there. Let's create a new variable for the second radio button. And as before, we'll find the element using the ID and paste it in. And this time the assert is false. So the RB30 inch is not selected. Get rid of that. We'll add a breakpoint here. And from the test view, refresh and debug this test. The browser is loading up. So we found the first radio button, the checked attribute is set to true and the selected property is also true. Let's continue the test and this should pass. And the second radio button has also been found and this also passes because the second radio button has not been selected. Let's stop the test. Ok back in the web page let's have a look at the HTML again for this radio button. We have a name attribute we can use. If we have a look at the second radio button, it also has the same name. So this particular group of radio buttons have the same name value. But if we have a look up here at another set of radio buttons, you can see the name is different. Let's copy the name from here and create a variable called RB options. And using the driver dot, find elements by, and this time we're using the name and paste in the name radio button options we can use the index value for example 2 and just click this radio button and finally we can throw in an assert to ensure that the radio button that we've just clicked has in fact been selected let's get rid of the breakpoint and rerun this test so we can see the third radio button has been selected Bearing in mind the index is zero based, so the first radio button is zero and then onwards. We can also use a for each loop to loop through the radio buttons and make a selection based on the value of the radio button. So as before, if we use the get attribute and this time it's a value. And if that equals, let's have a look at the web page. Say I want to select this radio button, so the value for that is 8. We want to click on this radio button and then break out of the for loop. We've made our selection, so we don't need to continue with our for loop. Let's rerun this test again. So you can see we've selected the 24 inch widescreen panel radio button which has a value of 8.